let's just jump on in. So on the left-hand side, we see a reference score for a custom scale whose triads start sounding like this. On the right-hand side, we see a score using those that sounds like this. Then also on the left-hand side, we see a YouTube video posted for World Systems 9 with an animation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms Episode 22, Chapter, Experiment, Thriving, Lifting, Swirl, and Nerve Endings. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that it seems like our world systems theory, you just saw world systems nine, uh, is morphing into a world music theme for us in this episode and series. Um, and it's catalyzed by us having applied for, applied for uh, a metaverse birthday exhibit. And we've submitted our application to exhibit there. And this is kind of our concept diagram for what our exhibit will look like. This is like an overhead view. So we would have a, a composer's corner, an ensemblist corner, a theorist's corner, a soloist corner, and the center would be international music, world music. So um, this is the Second Life 20th birthday, 2023. And we did this last year for the 19th birthday in this uh, our composing stream series, and you saw us take it from a design that looked just as flat and huh as this into a, a, a true interactive exhibit. So it's going to be interactive, it's uh, clickable sounds and expository placards and uh, all that. So it's kind of like those two things, the, the exhibit application and our World Series composing theme, suddenly become inextricably entangled yet again. Um, speaking of the World Series, with World Series 6, we made a new scale that we've now officially christened, officially christened as um, World WS01 F2662. In other words, the root is F, and the first, the minor mode is the interval of two. And the major mode is an interval of six, and there are five notes minor, five notes major, and seven notes in the total tonality. And in working with that new scale, we've come up with lots of lots of new material and ideas. We did World Systems Seven, which had a distinct uh, Oriental theme in it. Um, it also led us into doing stacked chords and World Systems 8, where we ended up doing a little bit of three up, one down again. And what we really seem to be doing, what we really seem to be doing, let's take an example. Here's seven. Here's that uh, Oriental theme. So that sounds pretty cool. Then over here, we jumped into the horn. And then we finally end up here on, uh, on, what do we end up on? Let's back to oboe. Okay, we, we jump ahead and then we bring in a choir synthesizer. Anyway, we thought that sounded so cool that we did an animation for it. And just like we showed you here, um, uh, we animated uh, World System 7. We posted the score and we posted the, uh, the animation. We also have World Systems 8, 8, where again, we seem to be doing what we're kind of doing, working with the intervals from the the scale, but also composing using our key step and changing the timbre ahead of time before we compose something. So um, this one, for example, starts with a contrabass. 
And uh, then we have the trumpet. So we're going to play this one for you in a minute because that's the, the current work. But, uh, strangely enough, nine, what we did with World Systems 9 is we went back to all of those um, tri triads and our, our original composition system was just to cut and paste triads into a new score and then do, try to do something interesting with it. And there's 35 of these triads. So that's what we did with World Systems 9. At the beginning, we just did some cherry picking. So these are four chords, minor, four chords, major. And we had to throw in a full because reasons. And then four chords, full. I had to throw in a major because reasons. And then here, we just ran all 35 chords in a row. But amazingly, uh, it came out sounding pretty good, we thought. So let's play a little bit of nine. Like that. So uh, you can, again, ka-ching. Uh, that is now posted on our compositions. So the, the composition itself and a cool animation. So uh, what we're going to do to bring us home is play eight. Six and eight are still kind of works in progress, and we're kind of aiming, uh, six is like a five and a half minutes so far, and it's got 14 episodes, and eight here has, I don't know how many, we're calling them themes, not episodes. Um, but we still in our minds here think that we want a long thing, a long, a, like a six-minute piece. And what we're coming up with, with seven and eight, are basically minute-and-a-half pieces that have a kind of a nice gel to them and, and stay together and are animated, and we've want, gone ahead and posted them. So we'll see. But here's eight. <laughs> so eight is very much we feel a montage collage of a bunch of themes thrown together which is how we compose it so is six but somehow uh seven and nine gelled and we and that somehow is like the mystery of composing i guess you could say so what we like about 
working with the world systems and is that it's kind of been catalyzed by the, the birthday, the composing. It's a, it's a birthday exhibit on composing. And um, we're calling it Sidearms 3D in Music Interactive Composer Kits. And we've written up a description and all that. And we also uh, really liked our animations, experimenting with blurs and gradients. And like we said, you can see that uh, they're posted now. So our ideas for next time are to continue with the World Systems Exploration 6 and 8. We feel need could use tweaking. Uh, there does seem to be a new element to our metaphor for the World Systems. We, we were just thinking left right and center, you know, political left, political right, political center. Uh, we were thinking of political centers of control and multiple centers of political control, cultural ethno centers and multiple cultural ethno centers. Um, and whether, you know, low range, high range, middle range of the keyboard or minor, major or full tonality, kind of very obvious you know, one-to-one -one correlations we could do. but but uh, And then we did experiment at the beginning with different timbres, like trumpets for the Roman Empire and um, who knows what for uh, uh, the capitalist economy, unless it's like a ticker tape sound or tickety-tickety-tickety type of a thing. But all of those seem to us to be kind of, you know, obvious and... and so, but in a, in a sense, we're back there. We're working, we're back working with, tam but now we're using intervals. I guess the, the difference is uh, by honing in on the, there, there are a lot of different intervals that are available in this custom scale. Four ones, one fours, uh, one fives, five ones, two threes, three twos, three threes. I mean, there are in most, most scales, but um, these have an interesting asymmetric mix, you know. So uh, seeing what we can make of that has is, is caught our interest. And then, and then, again, the birthday exhibit. So it reminded us that we've seen videos on what the traditional Japanese scales, Hindi scales, not, mm, no, never mind our traditional Western scales. And we could make a display on that and play little sound uh, clips in the exhibit demonstrating different uh, music systems, world music systems. In fact, maybe that is what this is. This is the world music systems. We should say world music systems. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So there. So anyway, and that's something we've really, we really like. We've kind of got our second win by by this uh, linking, and even the birthday exhibit's not for two months. I mean, but that doesn't mean we can't work on it. Ideas for it now. So anyway, uh, shout outs to Mr. Spatz who came back. It's like been we missed you, Mr. Spatz. Uh, HM Music popped in and said hello, and Zockender Onion popped in and said hello. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.